So we are standing here tonight uh, in a city called Shoham, near the house of the welfare minister Chaim Katz. Katz yeah. This is Moti, and you are with Moti? I'm with Rafael Rubin. Okay, he's a dad that uh, seen his uh, uh, kids in a contact center, okay, in a horrible contact center. Uh, and he's going to tell us what happened to him over there. Uh, if you do not behave with your kids over there, uh, you get penalties. And he's going to tell you all about it in English and then French. Okay, thank you. So, Motti, you can help him with the, some of the questions. I'll just put my film onto your friend yeah. here. Uh, First this is, this is the demonstration that he's doing. He's playing the violin and uh, sad songs. Uh, he's going from one place to another and just playing sad songs. Okay? It called the sad violin. Thank you. Okay, we are in the dark a little bit, so you just have yeah, to just understand that it's not light. great light. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just, bear with me while I slip under the dangerous line that we're under, because we're all serial singers here. Okay, we're going to start in English. Yeah. Okay, so would you like to tell us what the problem is and why you're singing here? Sure. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's, it's more like a consequence of the fact that um, my visitations with my daughters were interrupted uh, early July this year. Uh, the reason, so that's why I started this protest. I, I was pretty much alone in the street when I started it, and it's true that uh, gradually some people joined. But uh, what happened is that I, I have been seeing my daughters uh, for a year and three months in this uh, visitation center in Tel Aviv. Why? Uh, why? Because um, it is a, a systematic method. Uh, about 30% of men uh, who divorce are being sent to these centers in Israel. When it's in the rest of the world, it's uh, between 1% and 3%. Mm -hmm. um, why? Because uh, the law in Israel prevails for women that uh, until uh, the, the age of six, uh, women have automatic custody but it is only a prelude basically for um, giving them custody uh, later on and because of this law women have the right uh, the privileges to basically send the, the men to the Makaze Kesha, it's called a uh, supervised visitation center. A contact center, a contact we would center. know that is and, in English. And, and here in Israel, the entire system is pretty much, I'm, I have nothing against women, obviously, <laughs> but, but, but they, they are, the judges are women, the uh, people who actually make the um, tests, it's called like, when usually when the father refuses uh, the uh, visit, the visit uh, agreements that they impose upon him, then they, they are going to send him to some kind of like parental uh, um, assessment. Assessment to see if he's a fit father. Themselves, the psychologists and the psychologists are all women, and usually uh, they pay. They they take to the guys that were sent by the social assistants, uh, and even if they disagree, then they will change the versions later on. And usually, what happens is that the judge will only stamp. Stamp on what it's like a, rubber st stamp. like a rubber stamp on what yeah. uh, and what, what is the reason that they put you on contact center in the for first me, place? For me, the first place, uh, well, uh, there are a few reasons actually. Uh, one of them is uh, I was extremely close to my daughters and the mother was cared about that relationship. Now why? Because she tried to alienate them. She's been alienating them because I asked for divorce for in the last two years and she's, she's per being perpetually alienating them, like I, I see many women in these visitation centers actually alienating the children and, um, and the women there do not uh, report that to the judge and I did not give up and I kept going to the door and I heard screams and I did everything I could so that I would get my first daughter, the other, out and I did succeed and my, rela my relationship with her did not fail on the contrary and that scared these uh, personnel I guess that is not used to that and that's all. so so we we know from outside of Israel that all uh, parents uh, who go through divorce have a hard time uh, every country complains about what happens to men uh, I'm here because I know that for men in Israel it is the worst country in the world uh, for taking men away from their children for making them pay maybe 100% mezzanots yes. which they can't afford yes. you're standing in the streets singing and we know that there are 
police at the other end of the street who are costing thousands of shekels just in case you sing too hard or, you know, this is a protest and we know it's not allowed. So what happened to you recently? Because I heard that you helped your children wash their yes, hands yes. Right. Okay. and you're so punished what, for this. So what happens is that the general rule is that you're being sent to the visitation center. Usually it's, they actually claim that it's good for you. It's like, it's good for you, it's good. It's a safe, safe, stable environment where you will develop the relationship with your children. They will lie to the judge. They will not tell the judge what your relationship was with them. You before. already had a relationship which, before which they took them away. This yeah? was in my case, for example. So they you actually don't have to start really again. lied to the judge. And, 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 and then the, even in front of the lawyer, they, they didn't want to say it. They, you had to press them. And, and then, in, so in my, in my case, uh, my daughter suffered incredible damages uh, after even a few weeks, they hit their... They so hit I, he I heard that you've been punished just yes. lightly so I've been punished. for doing something yes. good. So because, because, yes, because, <laughs> because I don't give up on the, on the relationship with them. I never give, given up. There are some men there who give up, and I can understand that. And, and some may be witness uh, later on for me. Uh, but uh, so, for example, I have I develop routines. These are routines against alienation. One of them is we I take them by the hands and I kiss their hands and then we go into the kitchen and they step both of them, uh, two daughters, on the chairs and then they wash their hands and then they have they enjoy themselves rubbing their hands, etc., etc. Okay. And then this uh, d director, uh, I can't give the name. I don't know. Maybe yeah, social worker. Social so, 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 so worker comes in the kitchen and this particular day we were supposed to go to the beach my mother came we were supposed to go to the beach outside we had been already twice to the beach and i prepared uh, clothes and everything to go to the beach and this particular day they decided not no it's like arbitrary right they just decided, decided today you, you can't go, go to the beach the mother doesn't want you we no so it's not possible and so I decided, okay, so I make it inside, we'll make the beach here. So I started, I started, I removed my shirt because it was very hot and there was no air conditioning. I took the shirts of the kids out, I, I put uh, um, swimming suits. So you played. And I played and I went to the kitchen and I started uh, feeling, uh, um, you know, like whatever Something you do, for water something for to water. splash. And then the director came in and she said, Hey, you can't be like this, uh, dressed like that, and you can't uh, wash the hands here. Um, it's not allowed. This is a public space. And then you see her. There is actually a video that came out on the internet. She goes, Michael, Mich who is Michael? It's like the the garb. It's like for such a really because we know that you have guards in the calls, contact centers yeah, here. Yes, like we, we learn this bars. It's like a prison, really. So for me, so for me, uh, because I never gave up. On the, on the relationship and I always complained about uh, heart rate and incitation, then they always picked on me. So what was your punishment for, for this? Me, so immediately after that I got a letter from uh, the social worker, another social worker, that the visitations are suspended until I will be explained what to do. And, and then, oh, and then I, I immediately, the next day, I went into the street and I played violin every, at the exact same hours that I was supposed to see my kids. Okay. And then. Out, uh, out of a sudden, it happens that somebody saw me, a journalist, and then he, uh, and uh, that's how I got to Arut So can I, can I ask you, if you had a message to tell people outside Israel, what would you like to change here? What kind of help would you like? What, what would you say? Uh, the, the kind of power that is being given. First of all, men should not be naive. Uh, I was naive. I thought that we had equal rights. We do not have equal rights here. Now, most men, maybe me, many men think that way and then they got trapped inside it. So, first of all, that's the one thing you should understand. Uh, second, uh, uh, they should not be given powers of the judge. They are being given exec 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 executive powers. And because uh, judgments are, tend to be very far ahead, six months, a year, two years, then it's very easy to get disconnected of your children. I understand. Third, especially in terms of um, payments, uh, you should not see your children have the time and pay the entire uh, amount of money. We, we of understand that here that even if you have the children, yes. we have cases where even when the father has the children, they still pay the child support to the mother who doesn't no have cases, the children. Uh, no um, this is unbelievable yeah, uh, no, for everyone I heard outside. That, uh, you just told me that uh, you got uh, all, the visits, all the visits are yes, suspended yes. until further notice. Yes, so what happened is that, is that uh, last week they sent me a letter, a social worker, that I have to give my telephone to this, to this policeman that, that I said she meant in the video, and otherwise the visitations will be stopped. You know, they, they tend to talk, talk to you like your dog. You so know? you're like a criminal? It's like a criminal. And then I refused, and they didn't do anything that particular day. That was last Thursday. And today, a, I got a letter saying, uh, because of your behavior, they don't say what behavior, obviously that's 
Why? Because with my telephone, I take pictures of my children. I put them on Facebook. And this is against the and rules. And this is against their rules. So basically, you're a very loving father. You love your children. And you're in a country that doesn't help fathers very much. We know this. I know this. Yeah. Um, and people outside might say, yeah, that sounds like America or Britain. But it's not the same, is it? No, it's completely it's different. Because here it's systematic and the numbers are massive. Here, yeah. it's everything is it's, it's hard to believe, I know, but it's... Everything I, I hear uh, people who get heart attacks, who live in the street, they live yeah. in basement with their parents. They have no. Once you get divorced, if there you is no kids, future. You have no future. And you we also know life. that every day a father takes his life. Rich, no, if you're not from a rich family, uh, you have no you future. Have no future. We my, understand. Uh, my question last is, question uh, because yeah, we have last question. Time. Okay, you made Aliyah from France. Yeah. How long ago? Five years ago. Five years ago. Okay. If you could <laughs> turn the wheel back, okay, would you make Aliyah? To Israel, be honest. I would actually. I think that Israel has a potential. I do think that it's a new country and that the social problems ha have, instead of um, invest, I think that what happens to men here is a consequence of the religion, of the consequence of the, the fa um, maybe, um, I mean. I, I think that it's. I, I don't. Ha I don't dislike Israel. I don't regret the decision. I just. I hope that maybe by my actions and other people's actions, there will be a change. So you Israel. want change? I want to change. Obviously. We're going to try. I call it corruption. Yeah. Okay. I we call, call it corruption. Yeah. A lot of people call it trial I trafficking. I'm not here to. Uh, okay. I'm not here to attack. I'm, not, I'm here to okay. help. Yeah, well, can you also tell us just one last message? We're going to send this video to the uh, Stolen Children of the UK site, who are also demonstrating for children. Can can you send the English a message, because this is special for the English, uh, that you support the fathers and the parents and the children in England, because they're marching with us this week. Can you give a message to the English fathers? Yes, uh, I, I'm, I, I mean, I myself have been in England for a few years. <laughs> so just so, send, a, send so a message I, of support. I, for I, 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 I encourage uh, you uh, in, your, in, in, your, in your fight uh, for both men and women to have equal rights with their children. Thank you.